free to succeed. Um, I keep forgetting to shave edition. I've intended to shave the last like three days. I just keep forgetting to do it. I'll look in the mirror at some point in the day and go, I need to shave today. But that's usually right after I've worked out. And I'm all sweaty and stuff. I don't want to shave when I'm sweaty. But then I'm also showering after I work out. So I'm not going to do it right when I get out of the shower either. A little trip inside my mind there. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good, man. Real quick cut, uh, I forgot to mention the 10X, so I'm throwing this in at the beginning of the video. Uh, we've got a 10X coming up tomorrow. It is Anithwi Blood Twin for the Void Lego, then Rotos, Zabia, and Blood Gorged are the legendaries, Luria, Excruciator, Phoenix, and Occult Brawler in the Epics. So uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a bad 10X, actually. The Epics are, are solid options. Occult Brawler, I think everybody's probably pretty familiar with, great clan boss champ. Luria is a pretty fantastic champ. Excruciator can actually be dope. I have a and I have an old video on her um, way back in the day. I think it was from ha about how to counter Tormund using her, but I may have done another video exclusively on her. She can hit really hard. She's a pretty cool champ. I don't see much about her, but she's a cool champ. And then uh, Phoenix is also pretty popular. He's he's really good in Ice Golem. So, um, and I think he got another buff that made him even a little bit better in other places too a while back. So. Uh, the epics are solid. It's not a bad epic lineup to summon for, and the legendaries are also good. So if you happen to get lucky, Rotos is, uh, is of course, everybody knows Rotos. Zabia, again, um, also very good. And then Blood Gorge, I think people sleep on a little bit, but he's cool. He can hit really hard. He's got, I think he's got a block revive. Um, not a bad 10x, honestly. The quality in the epics is decent enough occult brawler i think saves it i think otherwise i would say unless you need phoenix for ice golem or something uh, the other the other two champs are, are good they're usable and they're good luria maybe more so than excruciator but she's also good it's not amazing wouldn't be the end of the world to skip it especially with the halloween fusion coming up but uh anyway that's it that's me rambling that's the 10x that's my thoughts on it uh back to the normal video i hope uh I hope, you, I hope you're having a good one. I hope the fusion's treating you well. We, we've pretty much abandoned every other aspect of the fusion except um, the demon spawn dude. I don't... I don't. I mean, I, it'd be dope to get the dwarf. What is this? Dungeon divers? There's just 25 in one stack. I remember speculating maybe they'd be peppered throughout, but no, 25 in one stack, huh? Thankfully, I don't think I need them. Oh, wait, I do. That's right, because I was saying, I'll just grab the first five from this, and then he's he's coming out in 15 more soon. Or 15 more of him is coming out in something soon. It was this one. No, 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 I'm sorry. Um, maybe, no, what, stop, it's not him. This one, yeah. So I was just gonna get, but see, that's so annoying. <laughs> Cause now I've gotta get the 25. If I just get to 15, it's not gonna be good enough. Now I've gotta get the 25 from this dungeon divers. These sons of bitches, dude. What a stupid way to set that up. I hate them. Just right now though. I mean, no, I usually hate them. No, hey, no, I don't, that's not true. I'm usually entertained by them. Every now and then I'm annoyed at them. I don't hate them. I hate them. All right. <sighs> yep. Keeping that. I don't think I'm keeping that one. I don't particularly care to have that one if I'm going to be honest with you about it. All right. Uh, yesterday in the stream, we were going to do some Patreon stuff, um, but we didn't. We're still we're still working on how we're going to do deliver deliverables for the Patreon um, throughout the month. I don't know if I'm going to designate a stream or two every week, or if we'll just do it on demand. Like if unless I'm doing something pressing in the stream that I don't want to stop. 
I think maybe maybe I'm leaning toward an idea of if there's a patron in the stream and they want me to do their deliverable for that month, that week, or whatever it may be, we'll just hop in and do it. Um, but yeah, if you're curious about that, you can, you can check it out. There's a link below for that. Now, we did our Doom Tower last night on Reset. So far, we're good. I believe this rotation, we're going to still be fine. We, could, we, we can auto through all of it. We've actually done this, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think that I had to manual any of the stages. I believe. We'll find out. Because this time, I think we are going to try to keep up with Doom Tower. Um, Super Raids and Fire Knight right now. I, I really do need to do a gear cleanse. We just got more storage space and I filled about half of it up. So, gear cleanse will be coming soon. And again, I'll do a video on it, but I don't think it's gonna be a free to succeed episode, okay? How about which faction crypts are up in Lizardmen and Sacred Order? How do we look in Sacred Order? So I think probably the move from here would be to get Mordecai out, or I'm sorry, Juliana out and Mordecai in. Perhaps, or perhaps Armager out, Mordecai in. I think getting Mordecai in there is going to be a good move. And then for Lizardmen, what do we got going on? Jared, we gotta get Jared in there for probably, probably Jizo, honestly. What's this dude do to? I forget who he is. Increasing the duration of a buff on a random ally. 15% heal, 15% shield, okay. Perfect veil and attack buff on allies whose attack is higher than defense defense buff and block debuffs on allies whose defense is higher than attack that's pretty cool that's pretty cool okay that boy got forearms on him i wasn't expecting that i thought he was tall and thin who am i thinking of i thought this dude was tall and thin like venom mage which sounds like an australian Hand meat Vegemite is what I'm thinking of. Never mind. <laughs> That'd be a bit of a sandwich, bro. All right. See, dude. Well, fine. We'll try it. We need her to fear proc. That would be really nice if she would. Sweet. Now, hopefully we can kill her before she revives. It's like no matter what level someone's account is, they always have Seafy built like she's in platinum, dude. She always resists the debuffs. She never goes down in one hit. I'm going to just target her because I'm sure she's going to get a revive off tired of it so even when she does it's trenda though like see we're about to get smacked it's gonna be a problem i should really go ahead and get trenda out of here but i would also really like to go ahead and get cp out of here so I should probably just kill Trenda and just keep the cycle going and hope we can, like, get out ahead. Dude, I, I'm so tired of Seafy. I'm so tired of not having her anywhere. Here's the thing, too, is, like, I don't even really want her that bad. I don't care. 
it's just annoying. It's the principle of it, you know what I'm saying? And now we're on a we're on a pattern here. Okay, she didn't go after Ashalon for some reason. That's good. Don't fear prog. Oh my god. We're doing this one again. And I'm gonna manual it. After the initial nuke. We're doing it again. We're gonna kill that CP. That's what's about to happen. So she's going to revive. That's gonna, that's fine. Well, uh, why? How could it possibly have gone so much different? I guess Ceres didn't strip and put the fear on Trenda. So we need Trenda to proc there, which means we probably can't win this fight unless we get really lucky. Which pisses me off, dude. Just because of Seafy. Only because of Seafy there. I should probably go ahead and six star Ceres at some point so I can get more accuracy on her. I can get a banner on her. That would probably help. Must be nice, man. Anyway, there's our five for Arena. I could go in and like fight the team and not try to cleave it, but like, no, two. No, I don't want to, you know? What dungeon are we gonna farm? I think I did some spider recently and I'm not sure I went through it. I need to see if we got a new banner for Arbiter, perhaps. Yeah, we, we have some potential here. For a banner for her. Why don't we roll a couple of these? Just to see. I think her current banner is giving her like 14. Also, cool. This would be pretty nice. If we could get a double here, even. Even a double minimum would, would be better than what she's wearing. Yeah, of course, I mean. That's better than what she's wearing. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, because I've glyphed it. I was like, how? It's 14, and then I think maybe a, a semi-decent glyph roll. So here we've got 15. So here we've got 14 plus four. Is it worth? No. No, it's not really worth bothering, is it? I mean, I could glyph I could glyph that one too. But like best case best case scenario it becomes plus 20. That's two more speed. And then I'm going to have to burn through those glyphs. I'm not going to do it outside of CVC, I reckon. And honestly, if I'm especially on this account, if I'm going to be doing five-star glyphs, I need to wait until we get to the mission for it. I'm on a mission for it. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing then. I guess I guess this seems like, oh, but it's not CVC. Is it? Is it? No. I need to take a couple of uh, clan quests. Let's do that. I don't want to deal with that. I don't, I don't want to deal with that at all. Use 10 rank 5 or higher defense glyphs. Win free rich. I don't want to do that. Um, man, this is... 
This is tough. I might. In Tag Team Arena, wins only. What are my Tag Team Arena teams? Am I even using any teams that have shield right now? Not enough. I can't remember if Mage is in a shield set. I mean, there's a there's a little bit of shield in there. I, I guess I could take that one. That's a lot, man. That's a lot of Tag Team Arena, I think. I would really like to not do that. I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna either have to do... I feel like I've gotta do this one. I feel like the other, I'm not doing Ice Golem stuff. I don't know that I can completely finish any of the events. I don't know that I can rank in any of the tournaments. I, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I can't do the other ones. Like that, I feel like I don't have a choice there. I reckon I should I should do this one so that it can piggyback. So that it can piggyback off the other one I'm about to do. And then this one. This one could be an easy one too. Upgrade a rank three or higher artifact weapon. Okay, let's do that. That's also easy. Is anybody wearing a weapon that's not maxed? Tormund, you wanna you wanna max your weapon, fathead? Too bad. We don't need we don't we really don't need to with you. Too bad, idiot. Wake up, idiot. <laughs> Do yours, I guess. I don't know what you'll get that'll be maybe speed. Maybe if you could get a little speed, that would be good. Dude, imagine this without RSL helper. We'd be we'd be creeping up on 30 minutes now, waiting on this gear to roll. Crit damage? Sure, okay. Take it. And then forge. Craft legendary gauntlets. I feel... Let's do some swift parry. We'll do rain charm, we'll do rarity charm, we'll do gauntlet. And let's do this. I forgot for a second I wasn't guaranteed gauntlets and I was like, <laughs> Ooh, dude, let's go. These are rolling pretty nice. I am finding it a little bit interesting that I'm not getting um, any gloves at all. If I'm honest. Seems strange that I haven't gotten a single pair of gloves. Like, not still not actually a single one hey there's there's one uh, I don't like them though they happen to be legendary too that was a good haul man I reckon we'll do some perception right uh, gauntlets I know that having the HP percentage substat maybe reduces like what's possible, but I think it rolls the piece first. 
I think I remember saying someone saying it rolls the piece first and then the stats. So I don't think that matters. Sure, why not? Oh, did I only have to do that? Tw oh no, that that was. Which which mission was that? Oh, but I bet HP substat. Um, nah. So that's two legendary gloves now. All right. Well, there's no sense in, in, in getting all five of them in the video. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh, okay yeah all right well we'll wrap it up here i'm gonna try to finish this today that's it uh other than that i think i'm going to be i guess i'm gonna be dungeon diving because i gotta get those 25 frags for dur because they put all 25 frags in the same thing and that's it man other than that i appreciate you guys hope you have a good one later